Why not the why not the Android? That's yeah. the output. Out, you know, it's oh, the oh, same sorry. cable. Oh, no, okay, no, 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 it's not a cable. It's not a phone. It's not oh, a camera. Okay. Hello, hello, hello. Hey, look at that. I think we're on. Hey. <laughs> well, let us go to comments. Come on, come on, come on. I need comments. Overlay. And, and then overlays. Come here. And overlays. All right. Do you see? They have comments. Okay. That's good. Yay. Okay, I got comments. <laughs> Let me just double check the stream here. Yes. Probably it's not equal. It, it says we're streaming. This is one of the things confirming you're streaming on the internet. Screw the yes. head. There we go. I wave my hand. All right. Yeah, you well, can say hi for, oh yeah, right now. <laughs> yeah. Hello there. My name is Anthony Barocas from Stream Tech here with the venerable Frank Zhu from Venerable. Venerable, yeah, venerable. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Venerable Frank Zhu from Yolo Live, and we are here. Well, no, uh, that's uh, J Films in Atlantic City. Uh, to Jason Leo, Hoffman. Hello. Jason Hoffman says, "You're up now." Yes, we are. Uh, Pocket Video School says, "Hey, Anthony." Uh, I am going to change that a little bit there. We're going to go in here, select this one. We're going to make it a little smaller. Where's my scale? No, no, we'll press it. Come here, come here. We'll bring that down there. Say done. So there we go. Do, 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 do. There. Oh, that's a little smaller than I made it. <laughs> hello, hello. So thank you all for being here. We are live from the NAB show floor. Yes, we had some technical difficulties because uh, they won't let us in till 9, and the show is at 9, so that was a scheduling error on my part. Um, and also, I was uh, late. Apologies. <laughs> um, so we are bonding Wi-Fi to my phone and a cellular connection. Uh, we've got the audio going through a little DJI wireless mic for both Frank and myself. And I guess the star of the show, go get the camera. <laughs> oh, <laughs> oh, that's I, this I, one. I can do the switch, guys. Yes, this one. That one's not connected. Okay. So you can bring it over and we can show what we can hold it. Can you, can you take it off the tripod? Is is the Alpha Cam? Wait, wait. the star of the show is the Alpha Cam. Oh, I'm gonna go back in here. I'm gonna go into this one. I'm gonna I'm gonna make it a little bigger. No, I don't want to see. The, we we want to show them the Alpha Cam. And then oh, this the, the these don't have auto off yet. So we're gonna have to remember to turn these off. Uh, it's the Alpha Cam. So this is. How, how close are we to shipping the Alpha Cam? That's a that's a tough question, actually. <laughs> uh, I ask the tough questions. Um, to answer this question, is that actually, actually this is uh, like ninety five percent finished, but we are thinking if we should add something Here, uh, additional to this. And uh, I'm just gonna move that one closer and switch cameras. And there this could go. also be a question for our audience, actually. Uh, if you want this product or you want us to even further perfect this, if we like redo a mo model of this, that, that'll take longer. But if we continue with this one, it should be very soon, actually. So this is the Wi-Fi. It is like a, see this as an extra dongle for, for wireless. Okay. With the current status. So when you say the current status, what is the plan? Is the Wi-Fi built in, or is the Wi-Fi still currently extra? it's not built in? Okay. Unfortunately. And then we've got USB power right here with a locking connector, which is nice. It's complicated, but we can make it easier just with one, one, yeah. one short thing. But right now it's like a two, two, or, two or three different parts connect together. To solve this problem, like you connect one thing, that's a, that, that's a visible. Right. And you can put a, that. You can put that right on top. Probably, probably not. Probably, probably, probably <laughs> not. Yeah, the thing for us is uh, if this is the product, like, like uh, the majority of our customer want, or the majority of our customer will be okay for this, and um, or we can like remodel this. That that'll be a good, bigger project that will take longer. Oh, oh, we got a comment. C C J Man says it should be P T Z. Should be, yeah. <laughs> Everyone come here and say should be something. 
Uh, Jason Huffman asks, is there any battery in the Alpha Cam? It's it's a, it's not like the Mivo. It's a, currently it's not. Just like I said, if we remodel this, we will add internal battery to this. And then, oh, look at that. Hello from Austria. Austria. Nice. Uh, CJ Man says, it's bigger than I thought. Um, well, it's got this bottom part that does the uh, time of flight um, focusing, which is very fast. But the top part, you're kind of limited by the sensor and the mount. You know, with a Micro Four Thirds sensor, it kind of, you look at it and the lens kind of takes up almost the entire front of this thing. And then, of course, the mount that it goes into is much larger. So you're kind of restricted. You can't make it smaller than the mount. And not that you would even want to. It has to be a sizable camera because if you put a big lens on the front of this thing, you know, you're going to have to have some heft in the back of it to hold it there. So. <clears throat> yeah, compared to other webcams or the PC webcams, this, this what, product is about, more about the video quality and uh, what kind of sensor does focus. it? Yeah, what kind of sensor does it have? It's a micro four thirds sensor. So from Sony. From Sony. So you can see, like this camera, they're not they're ten feet behind us. They're what, four meters. Would that be? I have to ask you for the metric translation. <laughs> about four meters behind us, and there's definite, like, we are in focus and they are not. And that's at F4. I can do a quick example for you during live stream. You want to show something. Yeah, you you have, um, you, there you go. You want, this you want to sh this one, right? Oh, that one? Okay, go ahead. Yeah, this is a quick. If I want to show something, they'll quick focus. Everyone see how fast it focuses. This is a the very unique feature that uh, Basically, no other Micro Four Thirds cameras, not, not the non-traditional Micro Four Thirds camera doesn't have. And then Jason says, the autofocus is insane fast. <laughs> uh, he says, great autofocus. Uh, Carlos is actually watching the stream. Uh, Carlos is here at the show. He should be here at the booth, I think. He says, so, so, Sony 4K sensor. Uh, is it a 4K sensor? Yeah, sure. Yes, okay. It's a 4K 60. <laughs> he says, sorry, I didn't get there fast uh, enough. Uh, what is the minimum power draw? Can a 5-volt, 3-amp battery bank, bank run the camera? Uh, actually, I don't have many knowledge. I, I, there was a label in the back, but there is, it's been removed since it's all the other land, not the English <laughs> language. So I'm, I'm going to guess. But it's a USB-C charge. USB-C, um, the YOLO Ultra is 45 watts, but I'm going to guess this is probably still yeah, could be. 3 amp, 5 volt, 3 amp, I, yeah, like the since, Pro. Since we are at the booth, I can quickly ask our tech. Or you can yeah, just go over there. Uh, our tech just left. When he's back, we can, we can answer this question. Go look question. at the power adapter. <laughs> <laughs> That's smart, though. I, I cannot lift it. But. Are the lenses interchangeable? Yeah, sure, Absol sure, sure. Absolutely. That's yeah. the point of the Micro Four Thirds mount is that you can put a zoom lens on there if you want. You can put this uh, nice, soft, with a bokeh behind you, prime lens. These are all prime lenses, right? Yeah, these are all prime lenses. So we've got um, a 25. This one over here, or this one right over here, is a 15. And you can see, like, even when I go to my hand, the background gets soft. <laughs> and we're at F2 on that one. So yes, the, the point is, that that's the other point of the Micro Four Thirds mount, right? Is that users can put on the lens that they want. Yes. If and I can, there it is. If you, if you pay attention to where the red dot is, it works much better. <laughs> uh, the live streaming master says, hello, gentlemen. Uh, what size sensor we cover? We covered the battery, should be PTZ. Uh, it's bigger, slight audio sync issue. Yeah, well. I'm using uh, DJI mic, which is wireless, so there's a little bit of a delay there. And hello from Covington. Hello, hello, Jason Hoffman. Actually, you can take this cable and put it into the TV so they can see the show that we're doing. Uh-uh. Yeah, it's right there. Oh, let me come. No, 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 no. Put that into the TV. That's the output. Oh, my. Oh, uh, we're gonna. I'm scrolling down. Yeah, it's it's a little hectic here at the show. Uh, quick focus. Sorry. Hey guys, checking in from Colorado. 
Uh, here's a question. Does the applicant work with NDI? Yeah, with the extra dongle thing, it works. Okay, so it's not, NDI is not built into the camera. Yeah, if you're at a booth and you can check out it's wirelessly connected to the Yellow Box Ultra. And currently it's using the real-time RTMP to make it wireless connected, but uh, uh, a few weeks away we'll make it like SRT and NDI available. Okay, for this. so let me, let me dive into that a little bit. Um, you just said, this is using RTMP to go from the camera wirelessly to the Yolo box. Ultra. Yes, yes. Okay, so then that means you are receiving RTMP streams as sources in the Yolo box Ultra. That's correct. So then, if somebody wanted to do a GoPro or a DJI gimbal, RTMP. In theory. In, in theory. In theory. Okay. Yeah, we mean we, we do like a few weeks to like engineering this feature. Okay. And it should so because what we're looking at is something that's in progress right now. It's this is I guess you could call this a, an alpha, not necessarily a beta yet. <laughs> that, but, and also, uh, please let us know if you like the naming of this product, Alpha I, Cam. I think Alpha Cam is a good idea. I, is I, it good or I, great? I, I, or the best I suggested. Idea. Yolo Cam, but he's Yolo the guy. Cam. He's the no, guy. Like a lot of <laughs> internal discussion. Ben asks, "Are you also making or providing the lenses?" And that's an excellent, excellent question. So I think for Mivo customers, they don't want to think much when they make this, uh, uh, like, for well, not Mivo customers. Any customer, it's it's basically yeah. it's the micro four thirds standard, so that you can put any micro four thirds lens on there you right, want. Right. Fisheye, the telephoto, Zoom, Prime, but Yolo is not going into the lens making business. Yeah, what he's saying. yeah. The good part of providing a lens for me sometimes when I make the purchase, it'll be easier. The, this is a whole solution. I don't need to purchase separately to make it work. But for this product, sometimes people already have other micro four thirds lenses. So we are. It's a it's a it's a question that have a lot of debate internally, and also it takes a negotiation discussion with other lens manufacturers. Uh, do, do, do Aaron, Aaron Patrick, not Parecki. Aaron Patrick says, <laughs> "I love my Yolo box, <laughs> but would love to be able to sign into Streamyard on the device." A future update, maybe. I don't know if StreamYard has an API to do that on external devices. It's a web-based uh, tool, so this is not necessarily going into. This is an Switch RTMP studio. output. You have from Switch Studio. Okay. And uh, so uh, he says, our mics are picking up background conversations. Yes, that's how it's going to be because we're in the middle of a show. <laughs> that's the. That's the nature of the business. Um, uh, speaking of a stream yard, actually, the inviting guest with the outro, and you can oh, re somehow we, replace. Should the we crank it up? We can actually crank up the audio. Thanks for saying that. Oh. We'll come in here and we'll crank up the line audio a little bit. Hello, hello. Look at my back. levels here. La la da 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 da. See if we can go a little higher. Let me know if I go too high and it clips. So I'm just pop, popping that up. That should help a little bit in terms of the audio. So yeah, this is this is a dialogue. I always say every week. It's a dialogue between you and us. So if you, you know, hey, it's not loud enough, let me know. Okay, okay. <clears throat> In this case, will camera support like shutter speed be provided by an additional device, for example, the phone? So you've got the phone control for the Ultra. Uh, we have a built a very sophisticated system to do all the parameter adjustings and all, all the everything, shutter, shutter speed and ISO and also the Wait saturation balance? and a lot of everything you can think about it and it, much more than that basically any system like adjusting system online we, we, we are more sophisticated than that we have checked a few and once I send a link or two links to uh, other adjusting system our tech just said that this is uh, like a basic mm -hmm. we are much more advanced but right now I say in the domestic version in the Chinese language okay but when, when it's ready it'll be it's a, it's a like a web page website you enter. We just, if we just run it through Google Translate, we'll be fine. <laughs> or chat GVT. <laughs> but yeah, yes, to answer the questions. And it's uh, also still very easy to use and to adjust. That's the idea. Audio needs help. Yep. Uh, da, 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 da. 
Yeah, it's, uh, Carlos uh, uh, puts in a good comic. Use the USB out into your computer for uh, StreamYard because StreamYard, as I said, is a computer-based, web-based um, cloud production trick. And they don't have an RTMP into StreamYard. If they did, then you could shoot this directly in the StreamYard, but that's up to StreamYard. They want you to use their platform. They don't want you to not use their platform, except, you know, and they don't have an RTMP through just for um, multicasting. I, I think uh, for this StreamYard, there's, there's a no necessity to output from the outro because <laughs> it has the inviting guest feature. Like you can, you can write up to five guests and you can also feature comments and you can do multi-streaming in the Yolobox device. So I think uh, that, that should somehow replace StreamYard. And I, I've done, uh, my, in my last live stream, I've, I've invited a guest with the Aaron Parakey and it was a, I guess it's a great example. Like uh, I suggest people can go check that uh, live stream at our channel. Uh, I'm doing the audio. Can you manually address the camera? Yes. The, or, or, yeah. How do you adjust the camera here? Like physically? Yes. Well, yeah. Not so sure. The, the lens is the only thing that you can manually, physically adjust. But otherwise, it's all from the, the website, the platform. All right. The, the, the sophisticated one that I just said. Do, 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 do. I swapped the mics because somebody said we had them reversed. Okay. My voice was coming out on your oh, side. We can only, <laughs> okay, you still and, one. And I, and, I, and I made it mono, so we should be fine. So again, thanks for the comments. Uh, but it, but boom. How soon will you have Mix Minus on the YOLO Box Pro? Uh, unfortunately, we've been asking, talking with tech about this, and it seems like the, the computing is a limiting on the Pro, and it's probably... I think yeah, difficult, and I and I think this. that's one of the key things. The Ultra was made for 4K. It right. was made with a much beefier CPU, much beefier GPU, and so it had that extra processing power that you could leverage to do the mix minus. Right. Whereas the Pro is kind of like, it's kind of like here in terms of like what it can do, and then to say, okay, now I want you to do two completely separate channels of audio. Right. One with mics and one without mics is, is a little difficult. Yeah, that's my honest uh, reply to this. And I, I hate to, like, to say this, but it's really the limitation. And all right. we, we, we also tried to incorporate all the new ultra features into the Pro. And the people are all waiting for that big update to the Pro. And I, yeah, I assure everyone, like, just be patient and they'll be coming to the Pro. Okay, okay. Aaron Patrick, not Parecki, says, uh, sorry if I missed it, do we have an ETA on the Alpha Cam? No, we don't. Um, <laughs> like, the question is... Yeah, I appreciate yeah. the honesty. I appreciate uh, the honesty. It's like, no. <laughs> uh, it's like, if it's, we further build, like, further optimize on this, it should be very quick. Or you can also come and let us know if, if based on all its current features, would you still think it's a good camera? And you would like to purchase it, and if the, if this is the most of our users would want, we can just ship this one. That'll be one month, something like that. And if if it's people all like saying like uh, that's not what I want. I I'd like this feature, that feature. We uh, might we like already got a request for remodel this. Yeah, because like they they are <laughs> there are thousands of uh, new features on the, on on this. So. Yeah. Okay. P P PTZ is Working a big on. one. We knew, we knew it. We knew it. Uh, Epic says, uh, as split is great for post-production. Yes. I was actually using these mics for um, interviews all through NAB, so they were set to split so I could do post. So that's that was, again, that one's on me. Uh, Red Carpet says, love to see you guys together. Yes. <laughs> love to be together. Um, <clears throat> Carla says, there's not many reasons to actually use StreamYard and then spend a monthly fee when you have a YOLO box. Because, That's exactly my point. Because uh, the multicasting is built in, the camera switching is built in, the you feature can do comment. P, P, uh, the, the PDF and image playback is built in, um, the titles are built fee in. The feature and comment is important one. Right, right. Uh, as well. We didn't mention that. <laughs> uh, sounds great. So I fixed the sound. Oh. 
Uh, greetings from Adcom, Italy. So sad I can't be there. Well, we'll see. Maybe the next one. We'll see you in the next one. Or the IBC. Or the IBC. You can. I DJ Mike says the Pro won't be getting as many features we are seeing on the Ultra. We we'll have to upgrade the Pro if it isn't me or me. So he's sort of like jumping in on that. Um, how about low light? Does the Alpha Cam do it right? Yeah, we have a dual native ISO. That should, that's the the spec that people want for the low light. Right, the higher ISO without. Yeah, yeah, the, the high and the low, correct. Uh, if people want me to read some of the key specs, I can do it. I, I, I can choose. Yeah, go, go, get, go get the literature. So, yes, um, once again, my name is Anthony Barocas here for Stream Tech. Oh, I have the entire brochure. Um, and we are streaming live from the YOLO Live booth talking about the Alpha Cam, which is the new camera here at the show. And um, 4K60, 422. Instant autofocus, interchangeable micro four thirds, simultaneous HDMI and USB C out. So we could actually send all these yeah. cameras to two different devices. People can like make a screenshot just in case they want. To. I don't think it's going to be that. It's too big, clear enough. <laughs> okay. And it's not lit. <laughs> okay. Um, four third sensor. High dynamic range, dual native ISO, NDI and SRT, you said, are going to be coming with, you know, as the software is refined. Uh, seamless integration with the YOLO, La, YOLO Box Ultra. And um, and they say rock solid. Yes, it is a definite, you know, this is a metal case. So, you know, if, if you were to drop this, I wouldn't really worry, you know, other than the lens, you know, this thing is not really going to, it's not like it's going to, oh, it's plastic, you know, it breaks or whatever. Uh, another thing is uh, the ventilation, so the heat system is really good, so you can like uh, live stream 24-7 without the uh, heating issues. Okay. Uh, that's a point of like a uh, rock solid with confidence. Another right, right, point, right. Uh, and then the thing that you guys are working on is right here, the wireless connectivity, because that's something that people have asked for, wireless local area. You know, not like yes. re the, the remote guest goes right, to the cloud right, and comes right, down. Correct. This is like... You have a Wi-Fi hotspot in between this hotspot, me. Mm -hmm. So you're like right there, and you don't have to even be connected to the internet, and you can use these right. like wirelessly correct, locally. Correct, correct. <clears throat> uh, let's call down. Oh, we did the low light one. The director mini has mixed minus, by the way. I believe your tech team should check it better. Frank Bush. Uh, well, yes, the director mini has mixed minus, and the ultra has mixed minus. Yes. So let's compare like devices. You know, the Director Mini came out essentially the end of last year, mm -hmm. and the Pro came out how many years ago now? So, 2010, 21. So, yeah, let's compare like current devices. Uh, the, the CPU is uh, different on three, dif three devices. The Ultra is the, the newest. It's slightly, it may be focusing on this. Okay. Um, will the Alpha Cam be good for outdoor sports? Um, I think it's as good as any Micro Four Thirds production camera because you're using DSLR lenses, you know. Yeah. So if you want to follow sports and somebody's running towards you, that's not what Micro Four Thirds lenses are built for. You can do it, like if you're on the sideline and you're just following stuff, yes, you can do it just as well as you could do it with any other Micro Four Thirds based camera, DSLR, right. or, you know, like a Panasonic GH4, uh -huh. Panasonic's right over there. Actually, I saw Jason Hoffman here. He did a demonstration like you can use one alpha cam or 4K camera. You can have a wide shot. Then you crop the image so that you can have a, another zoom, like a closer, close, close up shot kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So you have one camera, you make it look like you have a close up. Right. So it should be like a, the baseball in this case could be, could be usable, I think. And also with the zoom lens, since the lens, the, the lens is interchangeable, that's another kind of use case. So, and, and, and in terms of color and clarity, that's going to be awesome outdoors in the sun. I mean, yeah, you know, yeah. the, I mean, like you're looking at this, and we've got like really bad hall lighting and a really nasty overhead LED light, and you're still getting a, a, a really decent, pretty good image. Nothing like detail in the darks. Detail in the highlights of his okay. forehead. Can I take a picture? Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> you know, so 
I got to say, you know, you're looking at the actual image through an ultra. We've got three ultras here. This is one ultra in front of me. Uh, and then if I come over here, here's the ultra on the side. Hello, this is a 15 millimeter Leica lens. Uh, that's, uh, I forget, that's the 25 or whatever Leica over there. And if I hold my hand up, it's going to focus on my hand. So you, this is the bokeh, you know, on there. If I move my hand away, whoop. So yeah, um, Lance says, catch me up to speed. The new cameras themselves or the Yolo Box? This is the Yolo Box Ultra, which is the newest one. And the Alpha Cam, which is still being developed, but it's being previewed here, where wireless connectivity directly into the Yolo Box Ultra. Uh, you're shown three cameras in cooperation. That's, that's this here. You're shown three cameras in cooperation. Is that the limit? No. It's just a regular standard motor camera setup that we use. Right. It's not the limit. So somebody could potentially do five? Or ten. ten. Or ten. He said ten. You heard it that, here. First. That could be a possibility. I'm not 100% sure. But if, the, if you see me looking off to the side, that's where our preview monitor is. <laughs> so um, CJ Man, Manny 3K says, no tracking on this camera, right? No. no, no, yeah, it's not a tracking camera. It's not a PTZ camera. It's it's a static, um, it's a fixed micro four thirds interchangeable lens camera. Can you give a quick rundown of how they connect wirelessly? I think I heard you say local wireless network. Where does that originate from, and what would be the range of it? Just like any system, and there's lots of systems out there that connect using Wi-Fi. Yeah, you bring your own hotspot. Now you can spend. $600 on a really good gaming multi-input, multi-output wireless hotspot, or you can spend $69 on a Google Wi-Fi puck. The quality of your network is like the quality of your virtual video cables. So good, use good Wi-Fi. And don't, don't ever use the Wi-Fi. Like if I came to this facility and says, I'm just going to use the Wi-Fi that's in the hall, that would be like the worst idea ever. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Ben, uh, a uh, rundown uh, is, is actually add, you, you can click add source from the yellow box, then there's the RTMP right. source, then, then click add RTMP source, then, then you enter the, the RTMP URL, then it's connected wireless. That's right. current. <clears throat> Currently, what it's doing is your RTMP output from the Alpha Cam through your local wireless digital virtual HDMI cable into the RTMP receiver in the ultra uh, biggest reason to add a screen on the camera is to have a camera person control it on a tripod so yeah i think that's a legit um if you know recommendation we were asking for recommendations so if they're oops it's actually tethered and the usb is locking so i can't <laughs> yank it out if you had like a little screen on the back with up down and inner mm -hmm. you know so they could adjust certain parameters Right well, there on the unit. The thing is, uh, when you have a screen, when you have that uh, control, people would uh, normally request more control, and it will be kind of endless. So to make it the uh, simplest enough, uh, so we just uh, decide to remove like uh, our other screenless box cameras. It's uh, always a trade-off. <laughs> it is a trade-off. I'm going to, I'm, I, personally, I'm going to side with Carlos here. A little... You know, little LED kind of screen, yes. not even a preview uh, uh, screen, like the uh, like the first bird dogs, the little screen. It's uh, not a preview screen, uh, it's not a video screen, but just text, just to do with settings. ISO, oh, it's a little dark, can you bump it up to 400? Think 400, done. You know, something that, oh, I got to get the app, I got to connect to the network. Somebody can just walk up and ding, 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 fix the camera. But if you can preview from the, the app or the, the ultra, why is it still needed? You can preview from like the screen from the uh, the app or the ultra. Why is this? Uh, oh, you want to control the up and down thing? The well, no, I was just saying like quick adjustment of camera uh, settings. What 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 other settings? Like I IS, I ISO, shutter, things like that. From the screen. From the little screen, yeah. Yeah, that that will be a lot of things then. Okay. Like. <laughs> yeah, you, yeah. When you can adjust this, then people would request to add that. That then it'll be like I said, like a kind of endless. 
All right. We know where Frank stands on that. <laughs> no, I, I, it's just, it's not a no, but the, the, that's a, like building products, like a really trading off. Trading off, Here's, you can, you cannot always have the order thing. At some point, somebody has to draw the line. Yeah, because it's a, there's a, also a structure, structure design concern. Okay, speaking of structure and design, I, DJ Mike says, can you make a base for the cam that provides tracking? If not, that's then I just a, give you an awesome idea. Yeah, <laughs> that, yeah I, I, was that's, about, I was about to say that's an awesome idea. <laughs> that's it, that is a good idea. I, I'm gonna agree with Frank here, that's a good idea. That's an awesome idea. He's not satisfied with a good idea. Oh. Will there be an upgrade program in the future to get the ultra? I guess he. I guess he means like from Trading. the pro or something. Uh, I don't unfortunately, know. we don't. We don't have a program like that. What is the expected price of the Alpha Cam? Expected price. price. Yeah, we have a target price. We're not sure if this gonna gonna be made, but um, I probably six ninety nine or seven ninety nine. That's that's uh, that's the target. That's current, yeah, yeah. Okay. Mix minus on the Ultra, like for monitor, can you give a quick overview? Uh, I can't because we're using the Ultra to do the show, so I can't show you the Ultra. Like on my normal show, I can, maybe next week I can talk about, you know, yeah, yeah. Mix minus on the show, on my show. You can use it and you can invite in guests. Right. Um, doo -doo -doo -doo. All right, so that kind of covers the question. So again, we are here live at the NAB show in Las Vegas, California. Uh, actually, he went surfing before he came to the show. And I Why is hear, this related? Okay. It's not related. Your yes, person, sir. He's, surfer dude here has been surfing multiple times. Yeah, like the, two, right? Yeah, like multiple two times. <laughs> multi, multi camera, two cameras. You, ha you have been surfing 200% more than me. 200%, wow, that's a, that's a lot. Because I went surfing once. Yeah, yeah, two hundred percent. Exactly. So, uh, don't know if any other surfers are out there, but yes, you got two surfer dudes here hanging out in the Yolo booth, uh, answering questions, dude. And you got this down, right? Yeah. Because you're in Hawaii. I didn't really get what this uh, can you explain. This is hang loose. Hang loose. Hang loose. Hang loose. I didn't. What is hang loose? Uh, hang loose. It's just sort of like, you know, hey man, it's cool. Hey. It's a Hawaiian. It's a very Hawaiian thing, yeah. It's okay. an island thing where oh. it's sort of like, you know, they say in Hawaii. I thought it's a aloha. <laughs> no, no, no. What aloha else? means hello and goodbye and everything. Uh. But you could be like, you know, you're out there, you catch a good wave, you're like, yeah, man. You know, uh, uh. Yeah. like, good job, you, you, you know. Okay, got it. We should do this together in Hawaii <laughs> sometime. In a live stream from Hawaii. <laughs> no, 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 no. I don't want people to see me fall and... Um, Okay, come down. Uh, I, I surfed, I ended up with some sea urchin in my toe. Okay, sea urchin. Sea urchin, it's the little ball, and it's all spiky things, okay. and, if you, and if you hit it, the okay. spikes stay in your feet. Okay. That was nasty. Um, in regarding uh, reality, isn't there already a connection with OBSBOT? Yes, if you want tracking, you can just get an OBSBOT. Right. Because you guys, did you add OBSBOT control? To this? Um, yes, yeah, so it's, a, it's a, in a better version. We have it, like some basic control, E, PTZ control. Okay. Yeah, PTZ control from Yolo Box. Yes, it's been in the making. Also, other, the same protocol, other PTZ cameras all work when you do that uh, PTZ. Okay. Uh, and, then, and then if you implement the, the P, some PTZ control and you have NDI, yes. then that essentially NDI means control. PTZ control of an NDI camera. Yeah, next step. Okay. Uh, McGee Academy of Arts and Sciences says, good morning from Pico Riviera. So uh, I think the, the big news is that this thing is nearing completion. Uh, let me go to the side camera so people get a better look at this. Side camera's over here. Um, this is the Alpha Cam. This is why we're here at NAB, uh, showing off this wireless micro four thirds, 4K P60 camera with time of flight. So it's like you, you've got this shot, and I can put my hand up here, and that's how fast it's focusing. So we're actually doing this uh, video. All of, all of our cameras are Alpha Cams. So 
This is, you're looking at an alpha cam here. Ah, nice focus. <laughs> you're looking at an alpha cam there. And that is what we're here looking at. And as Frank says, uh, uh, sorry. If, if, you, if you like what the alpha cam is offering, then you can, you know, say so. If you think you've got like ideas, like, you know, we've had recommendations of a PTZ base, a um, little LCD control and things like that, then that enables Frank to have the useful feedback in terms of some potential modifications, additions, subtractions. That's correct. As it nears completion. That's correct. <clears throat> oh, let's see, I gotta go back up. Uh, Anthony, you said Las Vegas, California. Isn't that Nevada? Yes, it is, it is Nevada, Las Vegas, Nevada. Been here for three days on the show floor. I did 17,000 steps yesterday, so. Uh, Frank, you should do a surfing alpha cam. Surfing alpha cam, what, what, what we? Right there, surfing alpha cam. That sounds like uh, surfing alpha So you need cam. a waterproof model. Ah. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> The waterproof is actually, I think that's a great idea for, for our use case of a kind of a... There are... But the lens is... No, there are water-resistant lenses. Olympus Ooh. Olympus makes water-resistant lenses. So if it were to rain on a WR lens from Olympus, it would just keep working. I mean, you're going to get a, you're going to get water on the front knowledge. glass. That's so you're going to be shooting through rain. But if you made the camera... You know, you made sure the camera had a gasket and, and it did, you know, stop water ingress. Uh -huh. You could safely film outdoor sports like baseball or whatever. Mm -hmm. And if a little rain cloud came by, you wouldn't have to worry about your gear going bad. Mm -hmm. that, that, that's actually uh, a, it's a good idea. Yeah, I, I like that, that, that idea. It was, uh, I first saw this from another, our user who is uh, doing sport mm -hmm. in rainy weather in countries like uh, yeah. UK. They request this a lot. The, waterproof feature uh, I was just able to log into the show can you talk about updates to the pro coming soon and price points on the alpha cam uh, you answer the price points six to seven and, that, and that's the target six six ninety nine to seven ninety nine is the target it's still in alpha that's hence the name alpha cam yes <laughs> not soon we'll have beta cam and then we will have cam no it's, a, it's a alpha <laughs> it's a, the Alpha male, like being superior, like, like that, that's kind of a. I, I hope. We'll, I was doing engineering. Alpha, actually, it's an alpha, it's in beta. If people can see from here, we might have in future my alpha one. We actually had a little beta, but we didn't bring it here since it's not that polished. But the alpha can is uh, people More can get, yeah yeah get get idea. It's uh, like I said, it's a ninety five percent. We in domestic we already sell thousands of uh, per month actually. Okay. But it's a domestic, it's a built-in vertical. And um, updates on the Pro, Frank says they're on their way. We, we don't have a specific date. Will I lose a USB port on the Ultra to use NDI on the Ultra with the dongle? NDI is built into the Ultra. So it doesn't matter whether it comes in through Ethernet, Wi-Fi, or whatever. NDI is built in, so you don't lose a USB port to use... NDI. Um, NDI means say hi, say hi. it's over the network. And Aaron Burek is here. <laughs> so, hey, cool. That's cool. You had both of us on the show at the same time. We should, uh, I wish I actually do inviting guests with uh, with you separate and with another one with yeah. all, all of us. Will there be an option to add follow me to the alpha? I don't know what follow me is. Like uh, tracking a, a set, a set autofocus, like a like this. But oh, the, maybe the, that the, the autofocus for following one person could, could be or not. <laughs> and Carlos says, "My legs are killing me." Yeah, what's well, because you have that's why you haven't made it to the booth. Oh, uh, maybe price levels of cameras: entry level, mid level, pro level. I think there's only one camera though. There's that's, not like different right. versions of cameras. Waterproof a PTZ for sports. That's that's a legit recommendation because right now, if you want a waterproof PTZ, I mean, Bird Dog makes one. You know, there's a couple others, but they're like ten thousand dollars. If Yolo were to like step foot into that market and do one, 
hell at two thousand, three thousand dollars, that would still be huge compared to what the market's doing. Um, do we have Stream Deck integration with the Yellow Box Pro and the Ultra yet? Actually, I'd like to share a, a bad news. Like we brought something, our own Stream Deck, to the booth, and uh, where is it? Where is it? It's in the Denver airport right now. It's a, <laughs> our luggage. Our luggage. We have three luggage of all the products, and that luggage was a, was a delayed. Was in, in Denver, but anyway, the it, yes. To answer those questions, we actually it's, a, it's our own version. Currently, we have some fifteen buttons, like with the uh, the top five buttons are the switch, video ca the video sources. The second was a. Uh, Go live, go live. Board can just, it's an enabled, disabled technology. 